What's good YouTube, Jayla's Gamer here and welcome back to another NBA 2K24 video. Now in today's video, we're gonna go over some news that's literally got the community in shambles right now with NBA 2K24. Now if you guys don't know, NBA 2K24 has been leaked 16 hours early via Aiden Ross and this YouTuber and this or this just random person on YouTube right now by the name of Steph Bundy. As you guys know, in the community, it's very known for them to just play the game early on a New Zealand server or try to buy the game early from GameStop in order to just play the game early and just get their early footage. But this year, AD Ross got his hands on the game and he just streamed the game to kick in front of 50,000 viewers showing the community what we're in store for once we get our hands on the game. Make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let's go over everything that we know so far with NBA 2K24 being leaked. So starting now, we're gonna play this clip here from Aiden Ross that got the community in shambles, you guys. Literally got the community in shambles. We're gonna lower the audio of this clip, and we're just gonna play it. Now, if you guys don't know, Seasons is in NBA 2K24, and it's in a Fortnite Battle Pass type of way. You can literally buy your way to 40 straight off playing the game first day. So this is the clip that literally has the community going crazy right Upping now. All the way to level 40. So, what the fuck is 2K doing? Look, I can buy level skips, she's a look. Bro, As you can see, you can buy can, level can, skips can, here with can, NBA 2K24. So and it literally takes $73 to get your way up to level 40 in NBA 2K24. This $73 to get mascot on NBA 2K24. So, first day, you can literally be walking around on NBA 2K24 with a mascot, you guys. So that's the first thing that we know about NBA 2K24. The second thing here, it takes at least 189K to max a player out on NBA 2K24. Now keep in mind, it's gonna go off of whatever build you make in the game. So everyone's price might not be the same, but in this video here, this dude made a 6'1 point guard with a 6'4 wingspan and at 84 overall, not even 85, 85 is max, but at 84 overall, he said 189,000 VC to upgrade his player. Now that's the second thing here. Keep in mind, this will change for everyone depending on your build in NBA 2K24. There is no shoot around option in Pro-Am anymore. So you guys know where you just shooting around such and such in order to just warm yourself up before you hop into the Pro-Am game. There is no shoot around option in Pro-Am anymore. Mascots cost 100K VC in NBA 2K24. So that is, I would say a little bit more cheaper, but they've been at price for for a good little minute now it's just up and down next thing we know here you get your bronzes you get your bronze badges off rip when you upgrade your player in nba 2k24 it's around 190k vc depending on your build to upgrade to 85 overall in nba 2k24 another thing here you cannot see rip until you complete the quest to join an affiliation you need to score 100 points in the park and win 10 games for your affiliation so in order to see whatever um rep rewards or anything i'm not sure if it's rep rewards but in order to just see the rookie to legend you have to literally score 100 points in park and win 10 games so the start of nba 2k24 is going to be very crazy for a lot of people this is going to be hard for the casuals not even the casuals just the people who don't have you know consistent teammates i don't know if that's a good or bad thing but down in the conversation let me know what you guys think so this is another screenshot here where aiden ross is literally a level 40 with a mascot in NBA 2K24. So as you guys can see here, he's literally like a level 40, you guys. Level 40 inside out playmaker, 60 overall, but has a mascot on. So that's very, very crazy. Um, I don't really know how to feel about it, but because we all knew that the season thing was in the game, but did I know it was gonna be that cheap? Literally, no. $73 just to get mascot is absolutely crazy. In my opinion, that's very cheap. Um, I don't, I don't know how you guys feel about that, but in my opinion, that is very, 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 very cheap. And that's literally like a steal. The next thing we know here, you guys, 2K added all of your animation in SIGs in your player card when people view it. So you literally cannot hide your animations from anyone. 
you literally is able to see people's animation in SIGs once you open up their player card. Now, all right, you guys, so let's zoom this in here. So literally, when you look at someone's player card on NBA 2K24, you're literally able to see all of their scoring move and play making moves. Now, in my opinion, this is not a W ad for 2K. This needs to be removed instantly. Just imagine someone looking at your whole animation and copying it to the T. Now, I'm not even going to lie. This is good for those creators who just make those videos lying about whatever six they're used because a lot of creators does that i never made a video a lot about any six that i was using if you want to give your six away do that but in my opinion this 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 is not bad to a certain extent but this is bad to a certain extent down in the comments man let me know what y'all think about this adding your moves and jump like adding your whole signature moves whatever you use your whole animations to the 2k player card publicly for everyone to see let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section you guys um also here let's go over this you guys let's go over this let's go over this this literally has the community going crazy right now this has the community going absolutely crazy so 2k24 stage 2K24 stage, you guys. Let's let's watch this. Let's watch this, you guys. Stage is absolutely the same, you guys. Stage is absolutely the same. Now this right here is where 2K24 went trending on Twitter and where it had the whole community mad. Now they're saying stage has been the same for three years in a row. Um, current gen has basically a new look of stage. It's the same, but it's kind of like a different look. And then you get on next gen, you literally see the same thing from 2K23. Now, keep in mind, you guys, Rec does look the same also. But if you paid attention to all of the videos from Community Day, they're saying that season two you would get a new Rec look. Now, if it is it the same for Anti Up, no one has a clue. But so far of what they're seeing with the same Anti Up, the community just doesn't like it. They're in shambles on Twitter, and I un I completely understand in my opinion. Like you have some people who literally is just known for playing Rec and just literally like go crazy and wreck it for them to continuously have the same look each year is it's almost as if 2k don't care at this point so so far that literally has the community in shambles it literally has the community going crazy right now because they feel as if the 2k did not take the game serious they feel as if 2k literally copy and pasted 2k24 with everything from 2k23 three so so far that's literally everything that we know so far with nba 2k24 we're going to continue to keep on looking here just to make sure we're not missing any news to show to you guys for this video um how do you guys and it comes how do you guys feel about the people getting nba 2k24 early and and leaking it some say it ruins other people's um first impression of the game some say you know it's it's clutch in my opinion i really don't care you know i don't care either it's it's, it's like whatever you're gonna see the game also you're gonna see it once you lay your um hands on or you put your hands on it so honestly i don't really care about the people who leaks the game hours early 2k knew this would happen um if they wanted this to not happen they would literally just make it to where the game will be released globally at the same time but 2k they know this it happens every year so so far i'm just making sure we're not missing anything and you know all those sorts of sorts of thing but if you guys don't know um vc prices in 2k24 they added a 700,000 vc to the game and it's literally a hundred and sixty some dollars after tax um it worried me at first seeing this 700,000 vc because this was never an option with any 2k it kind of made me think <laughs> is making a build is going to be seven hundred thousand dollars or close to that but 
we nip that in the bud. It literally takes at least 200000 at the most, probably 200000 300000 depending on whatever build that you create to max out your player on NBA 2K24. Um, we're just making sure that we're not missing anything here before we close out this video because I'm not going to stray this video along. I'm not going to make this video long because I'm just going over the basics of what's in the game and, you know, what has the community in shambles right now. That's literally about it with 2K24, everything that we know so far. So, down in the comments, man, let me know what y'all think because the community is literally in shambles. They're very mad right now. So, I'm going to close this video out. Make sure y'all drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.